Hey there, this is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries and I have a testimony to share with you that's just so, so God, so beautiful. Um, I am now traveling, uh, giving three retreats uh, in San Antonio, Texas. And if you are in San Antonio uh, this, this Thursday, I'll be speaking at a Holy Mass uh, at 7 o'clock, St. Mary's Cathedral not St. Mary's Cathedral, that's Colorado Springs, at um, St. Uh, Mary Magdalene Church. Okay, come and expect healing. I leave my mistakes on here too because it's just an invitation also to, we're all human. I, I'd like to be a witness of how to handle little faux pas, speed bumps, mistakes. Um, I love taking you on my drive with me. Uh, so I was taken to lunch uh, to get uh, my favorite enchiladas. She's enchiladas and rice and beans. As we were checking out, uh, the Holy Spirit highlighted the person who's checking us out, the receptionist. And even though she spoke Spanish, I still made a breakthrough in talking with her saying, you know, do you have any pain in your body whatsoever? Luckily, God provided and I had someone who uh, spoke Spanish with me and was able to translate. She said yes, all over my body. What drew me to her is she began to comment on the uh, miraculous medal one I'm wearing and also uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe uh, that my friend was wearing. So. The Lord highlighted her and um, I asked her if she had pain. She said yes. She told me the pain level is eight. Um, and uh, so uh, I asked if you were okay with me praying for her. She said yes. Let's go to another area. I asked permission if I could touch her shoulder. I could sense her dis-ease or discomfort with that. And I want to just share with you, that's okay. That's complete. I don't have to touch her. Jesus is touching her. <laughs> it's just one of the ways in which I pray for people. This is about a dignity move on my part. And so I, um, I prayed at a distance right there in the restaurant. La, I think it was like La Taqueria, something like that on Vance Jackson. And uh, so I began to pray for her that little burpy sneezy thing that I know some of you have heard before um, let me know that she was being healed by Jesus remember I don't do the healing he does so uh, she was at 8 I began to I stop for a second I like to do a check in to see how they are during the prayer session and I said how's your pain and she looked like oh my gosh you know, it's gone. Uh, she's just like, and she goes, and I noticed she was going to rest in the spirit. <laughs> she was really feeling the power of Jesus. And, uh, and so she said, can you, can you pray over my, my eyes? They just feel so heavy. This is resting in the spirit, right? I said, I'm happy to. She goes, let's go over there and sit down. You see what was happening? She goes, I feel like something's in my body going up and down. She goes, I've been praying and praying and praying. I have a son who's gone into the Marines. I, I am experiencing pain. And then the Lord began to show me she was also experiencing depression and anxiety along with her other physical ailments. And he wanted to just touch her heart today. We prayed some more and she's like, can I have your phone number? And I, I gave it to her because uh, I was led to do so. This is just another beautiful testimony of God showing up in the, I would say, unexpected places. Wouldn't you? But of course, he's everywhere, right? But I just wanted to share this, that God has moved mountains in this woman's life and it's so beautiful. And uh, she's going to be coming to, I think, the Holy Mass on Thursday. <sighs> There's that spiritual oxygen again. All right. I pray this blesses you. All right. And if you can, give a thumbs up, subscribe, maybe the little notification bell. Uh, that's you know when I make new uh, recordings. And uh, then if you want to, if you can, you can make a comment. All right. Take care. God bless. And amen, because all the glory goes to God.